Hey there, what's happening? This is Alan at MindVisionMedia.net and this is another quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to edit these widget titles on the responsive theme from Theme ID and uh, I get questions on how can I change the color of these titles and maybe change the background color of the widgets themselves um, it's a very common question and you may want to do that and I'm going to show you how alright um, basically I'm using the default options inside of the responsive theme from theme ID and if you go to appearance and theme options it brings you to this page here and they have a tab here called custom CSS okay you can place codes in here that will override the default CSS for the responsive theme and what we're gonna do is use a couple of lines of code that are really short um, I was going to add them to my description or provide a download but this is really short code and you know if you've been following me um, you know there's something you just have to accept with WordPress if you're going to continue with WordPress and if you're going to really start to understand WordPress you're going to have to get used to little snippets of code like this I mean there's a tons of stuff already out there provided for you that you can copy and paste but for this particular one I want you to pause the video and, and write this code I want you to get used to just writing a bit of code and some of these things are so repetitive that you'll begin to learn them and be able to write them out as you need them okay so I'm gonna zoom in on this and I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and open up notepad or your text editor and uh, go ahead and write down this code okay it's dot widget dash title dash home space h3 squiggly line <laughs> people call it the squiggly line okay hit return base over a little bit put color okay semicolon white I'm sorry colon white semicolon okay hit return put the opposite squiggly line hit return put dot home space dot widget dash wrapper squiggly line hit return space over put background colon and the color you want semicolon okay hit return and the opposite squiggly line and you're done just like that okay took you less than 30 seconds to write this little bit of code now of course this is just for this example but you can change these color titles to whatever you want. In this tutorial I'm showing white for the titles and orange for the background for the widgets on the home page. Widget 1, widget 2, and widget 3. Alright, so pause the video, copy that code, and then go ahead and resume the video when you're ready. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to take this code right here. Once you have it in your notepad or Note++ or whatever your text editor is, you can save it. And then you have it handy whenever you need it. But like I said, you'll use it over and over and you'll begin to memorize it and learn how to just write it out. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into my custom CSS styles, which is inside the theme options section of your responsive theme from theme ID. Okay, so I'm going to put my cursor right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. I'm going to save those options. 
and I'm going to jump over to the website and there's the default home widget 1, home widget 2, and home widget 3 kind of drab, kind of plain looking but it's there for you to customize it so I'm going to go ahead and refresh now that I put that code in and I should have white titles and an orange background and there you go and once again I did all that with a couple of lines of code inside the custom CSS style section as you can see the widget title I have as white and the home widget wrapper background I have as orange okay so there you have it and I'm going to go ahead and delete that section of code how about if I change this to uh, blue and change this to black let's see what happens go ahead and save that go back to the home page refresh the page and there you have it I have a black background with blue titles okay so once that code is in there you can totally manipulate the home page widgets and this will not affect your other widgets on your site I should demonstrate that um, you don't have to worry those snippets of code there are telling the responsive theme to only do it on the home page so if I go to the about page um, all my widgets are the same don't have any changes going on inside of here. I don't have black and blue titles inside my website. Okay. All those widgets are still the same. Okay. But on the home page, I have black background blue titles. Okay, I'll do it one more time. You go in here. Once you have this code in here, you can just go in here. Why don't I make the titles black and the background green? How about that? Let's do that. Save that. Jump back over to the site and go ahead and refresh. <clears throat> and there you have it. Okay, this text is uh, handled inside the widget area. <coughs> and if you're using a tiny black CE, tiny black studio, tiny MCE widget, you'll have full control over your content inside the widget. Um, so that's in some of my other tutorials, but uh, we won't get into the body text and font inside the widget because you can manipulate that inside the widget area using the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. Alright, so I'm going to go back and change that the way I had it. Okay, I'm going to go just go ahead and delete this code. And save it. Go back to the site. Refresh and it'll get back to the default style for the home widgets. Alright, so I hope that was a quick, uh, easy little uh, demo on how to change the home page widgets in the responsive theme how to change and modify the title color and the background color of the widgets alrighty got any questions contact me through mindvisionmedia.net thanks for watching my tutorial thanks for tuning into my channel